Hey everybody, this is Dennis Wilborn, uh, Active Trend Trader. I want to welcome you to this weekend session of how to make money trading stocks and options. So this is the uh, um, the show for the December 18th. Uh, as most of you know, I was traveling on the 18th, coming up to Boise, Idaho to see the grandkids. But uh, let's get into today's session. <gasps> okay. <laughs> Really pleased. Yeah, you know, one of the things I designed Active Trend Trading for is you know, so, so that we can, you know, not just survive, but we can thrive in any market. I have, you know, basically made it through the uh, crash of 2000, the dot-com crash, the, uh, the, mar the bear market of 2008. And uh, in doing so, and also working full-time during those time frames, about 10 to 12 hours a day, six, seven days a week, I wanted to design what I call a clear and simple system designed to maximize profits and minimize losses for people who are still gainfully employed or just who don't have a lot of time to trade. The, the uh, uh, how, to trade mar uh, how to trade stocks and uh, how profitably to trade stocks and option uh, show that I do every Friday. Basically, we're going to cover three different things from now on. It goes off every Friday, 11 a.m. Pacific. You can join us by either going to the to our YouTube channel, Market Tech Talk, subscribe, hit the bell, and you will be notified when we go live. Uh, secondly, you can just become a Active Trend Trading member, the free, even the free folks, and you get a really great watch list every week that I develop, have developed based on Investor Business Daily watch this is all 14 of them. I go over over 500 stocks and come up with the uh, Power Ranked Elite watch list. You just have to, you know, and there'll be links down in the YouTube description that show you exactly how to get hooked up with that. Then we're going to do a stock pick. Normally, our stock pick is done by uh, Dr. Steve Ferrara, who is a uh, uh, retired University of Hawaii professor and a really great stock picker. And then number three, this is new. This is the plus. Towards the end of the video, I'm going to be basically giving you a master trading tip that I have learned uh, during my 30 years in the stock market. Today's is really good. And so hang on. We'll be talking about that master trading tip towards the end of today's session. So disclaimer remains the same. So how did the markets finish up yesterday? Well, basically... For the year so far, we've got two more weeks in the year. And remember, the market actually finishes up on the last trading day, the 31st of December this year. And then the first, of course, is New Year's Day, and it's on a Friday this year. Same thing. This next week is going to be a shortened week. Four days rather than, than five. Sun, Saturday, correction, Friday is Christmas. And so hopefully everybody has a merry, merry Christmas. And uh, But... Uh, Thursday will be the last trade day of the of, uh, of the next week. So anyway, so let's go on into, you know, very pleased with how we've been doing on both the strategies we utilize for the Active Trend Trade and Premium Service, which strategy one covers stocks and ETFs, and strategy two, of course, uh, covers uh, an option, some nice option, option income strategies that we use. If you want more information about that, just drop me, you know, DM me, send me a note, and we'll show you how to get hooked in. So, oh, don't want to get there yet. So let's get in and look at the individual indexes and see how they did. Let's start with this S&P. S&P over here, I've got a weekly chart on the left, a daily chart on the right. On Thursday, prices broke out above this congestion area. And it looked like things were in gear to run up a little bit higher. Friday, the news came out and basically it knocked down the index. And actually, we had a very, you know, pretty good sell-off going in, you know, in, you know, it dropped the, uh, the eight-day moving average. However, it found support. And what we're finding is, is the S&P is finding support in between the, the 20 and the 8. And it's respected that ever since the move back up in October. Once it got above those two uh, moving averages, it's respected it head on up. So the things that I'm looking at on the S&P, and then we'll get over to the uh, NASDAQ, is one, we have some negative divergence going on when we hit this new high. 
Now, that doesn't mean that the market is going to just roll over and die. Uh, however, it may mean we, we're in a little bit deeper correction. If we take out that low right there, that swing low from, uh, when was that? I think that was uh, the 11th. So that was actually Friday of last week. We take out that swing low, then we may have a new equation that we'll have to deal with with the indexes because we will be, have made, be making a new lower low, the first ingredient that goes into a new or a reversal of the trend, which could put us into a trend going to the downside. We'll see, we'll see how that works out. Uh, bum, 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 bum. On the weekly chart, what we've got is a spinning top, uh, kind of showing that the week kind of you know, wound up, where it, it, it ended where it stopped, or the week before, uh, not a lot of movement. Uh, so that's what we've got for the S&P. What I really like trading, of course, is... What I like, really like trading is the NASDAQ in particular and also the IWM or the Russell uh, ETF. Similar type situation. And it's a really great time to be comparing the different indexes and as you see, we also had a breakout on breakout on the NASDAQ happened on, uh, on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Friday we have, I won't call that a hanging man per se, uh, but it definitely is a bearish engulfing of Thursday's move. If we move back down and take out the breakout level of 308.06, we could be pushing on down towards where? Perhaps down to the 20-day moving average. So I'd be looking for a pullback into that area. We do not have a trigger to get long. We do not have a trigger to get short. Uh, but it has a similar type characteristic or, or personality showing up on the charts is that negative divergence on the TSI. However, there is no negative divergence on the market forecast. If you don't know how to use these indicators, that's another thing where you can go over. We do have some free training on using these indicators on the Active Trend Trading, uh, Active Trend Traders um, uh, web website. Uh, let's see on the weekly chart. You know, not really anything to say. Hey, we're getting ready to fall out of the sky. We do have a little bit of negative divergence between this high here, that high there. And this making a new high, a little bit of negative divergence there on a weekly basis. Eh, slight weekly divergence on the market forecast. Again, it would not be a surprise to have this drop back down, pull down to somewhere between the 20 and the breakout area down here at the, what level is that? About the $299, $300, dollars level for a bounce higher than a bounce higher from there. That's what I would be anticipating. Um, at this time, as I said, we really don't have a, a, a trigger to trade us to the downside or a, trigger, a, a setup to trigger us to the upside on the NASDAQ or the Qs. <clears throat> Excuse me. I have to take care of one thing here so this will stop doing this to me. Okay, here we here. The, the Russell is represented by the IWM. Look how nicely the, during, you know, from its rebound back here in the, the last part of October, we have respected and followed up the eight-day moving average and is still doing that. So I have nothing to say, hey, it's time to go into a short type trade. It is still, everything is in gear to the upside. It would not surprise me to see some kind of a pullback into where? Into approximately the eight and even maybe the 20 or halfway in between, there's a, there's a support area that's hiding at about the 189 level where prices could drop back to there. Or there's one also up there about the 191 level. Um, again, nothing on the IWM is saying, hey, you know, get short. And it's one of the things that's showing it is being stronger than the other indexes is look at that TSI on a, on a daily basis really hanging up there in the upper reversal zone very nicely and just driving sideways as prices have really you know got it in gear and again secondly iwm watch it on the weekly chart 
it continues to push higher. It is extended away from its moving averages, though. So a reversion to the mean would not be a big shocker. So the stock I want to talk about for the week is, is PLMR. Yeah, PLMR, which is uh, Palomar Holdings, Inc., very interesting. And we came off our of earnings and it just got blasted to the downside. I mean, it went from a hundred bucks down to about sixty-five dollars. That's you know, that's a that's a big drop. However, you know, we've been making back up from for that. When we get, and again, this may be something to look at for a potential longer term hold. And let me let me take let me zoom this out a little bit. As you can see, you know, this has been on a tear, been on a run ever since the May of 2019, or even eh, not so much further out than that. That must have been where it came, you know, just came online. Make sure I've got the, how many, how many years I got set up here. For, yeah, I've got it to the max. So cool. So we basically had a sell off back into where it broke out from before. So that's good. The thing I want to highlight to you is this. Is we have the TSI. It turned over and crossed for the week. Nice large candlestick movement up to the upside with nice volume the last three days of this past week. And that's always kind of unusual, especially when things like that happen during a holiday season. That somebody, you know, you have to say, okay, think somebody knows something is going on with this, this entity. So the TSI on the weekly chart crossed over to the upside, the, the market forecast. Uh, on the weekly chart, the the intermediate line also momentum switched over to the upside. It just happened to do that, you know, a, uh, about a, a little bit over a week ago on the daily chart. TSI has gone ahead and drawn up up. It's up in the upper reversal zone. I would not be surprised to see a pullback into the 820. It's above all the moving averages again. The 200 is there. The eight is here. Our equation the 20s there, the 8s there, the 50s there. So what the way I'm going to trade this, just for FYI, is I'm going to trade it basically is if I get a pullback back into the 50-day the moving average or even down into about the 34 or the 200, that's my trigger. And so I would basically put a alert there. If I drop down to eh, 81 bucks or $82, put an alert. That's when I want to be prepared to potentially trade this stock. So that's what we've got for the stock we're looking at going into next week. Now let's jump over to the rest of what we wanted to show you. So what is our trading tip for the week? One, as we get closer to the new year, there'll be more people who want to learn how to trade. It's you know, part of their you know, uh, setting up New Year's resolutions and this type of thing. And that's awesome. I love it that that's happening. However, a lot of people go, where do I start? Well, one of the things that I've found is that all profitable and successful trading or investing plans should include six pillars that will help a person investigate, look at various systems, various plans, and, if, and make sure you, the ones you're looking at have these six pillars. And if you already have one, does yours have these six pillars? And what are they? The pillars are going to tell us what to buy. What stock, what ETF, what, you know, if you're going to do some options, what options to buy, how to do that. So the pillars tell us, one, what to buy. Two, the pillar two tells us when and where to buy, which is very important because that's the next question. You know, when do I buy? I don't know what to do. Pillar number three, when and where to exit, including the stops to protect you from losing your capital. And then number four, pillar number four is what strategy am I going to use? Pillar number five is what to expect. A lot of folks, they will, you know, get pieces of these, you know, pillars, but they're not put together in a nice uh, congruent way. And so they haven't got a clue about what to expect. In all good systems should tell you what to expect. I know for the active trend trading, I expect you know, three things. One, I expect win-loss ratio of over 70%. Two, I expect to, uh, to have a return of at least 40% every year. And so, see, I know what to expect. Um, 
and that's proven, of course, by the back testing and, and actual ex, ex, uh, execution that we've done since 2012. And then last but not least, who will be your trading mentor? Uh, so many traders, trading can be a very lonely game. If you get out there all by yourself, it, it can be really scary. So find yourself a great trading mentor. If you want some help on that, look down in the uh, comment section uh, on YouTube. We've got some connections to uh, us over at uh, uh, Active Trend Trading. Maybe we can help you out with that and um, help you find the, the system or help you basically look towards getting more information. So that's what we're looking at. That's my tip. The trading tip going in. If you have any other questions, you can send me a DM or drop me a note. Uh, so, hey, if you want to make, you know, my my weekly trade plan, here's the simplest one we have. It's the Power Rank Elite Top 5. I show you where I'm trading. Sounds familiar? Uh, what I'm getting, where I'm getting in, where I'm getting out, what strategy I'm using, and what to expect. Hmm. I think we've just heard that before. Here's one of the trades we did here recently. Z uh, ZTO had an excellent trade on that. And now we're waiting for it to sit up. And so you want to know about autopilot. Autopilot, for less than 20 bucks a month, you get four reports that have five stocks each that have show exactly these five elements, those five columns. So as we close out today, remember 2021, I believe, is going to be a year for reboot and wealth building. So for you, as we close off today's session, I want you to, one, keep building your egg, trade well and prosper. And if this was a regular Friday, we'd be having the final hour. But from my home to you, except right now, I'm in Boise. So continue to, you know, trade well and prosper. Keep sharpening your saw. Mahalo. God bless everybody. And again, if you're joining us on YouTube, hit the subscribe, hit the bell. And then another video will be coming out, popping up right there. And so, hey, give us a thumbs up and give us a comment. So until next time, as I like to say, aloha.